I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by bitrefill.com, your one-stop shop for living on a Bitcoin standard. Sign up and grab gift cards for eSIMs, gaming, e-commerce, your travel needs, food, and much more, and you can buy them all with Bitcoin and Lightning. Sign up today and use code BTC Sessions 10 for some special perks. The metrics for the Bitcoin social layer, I run the marketing for the Orange Pill app. If you want to say like, oh, the price of Bitcoin is steady, the metrics on how many people are, are signing up for a social network specifically for Bitcoiners just to make connections with other Bitcoiners to zap them or buy stuff or make economic connections on the Bitcoin social layer. It's a freaking hockey stick right now. It's absolute bull run time. When you look at the charts, I get to look at the charts for how many people are interacting, how many messages, how many messages are going on, how many people are signing up, all that kind of stuff. The connections between Bitcoiner has never been higher. We have more tools. We have Nostr. We have Orange Pill app. Twitter is, is, is a great space for it. We have so many tools at our disposal. Those metrics are going absolutely bananas. But if you want to talk about the buying power, and this is maybe the thing we can riff on for the second, you know, two last two minutes or whatever, but analog versus digital, we want to talk about the appreciation of the buying power of our stuff. There's never been a historical case or historical precedent where the digital disruptor of something didn't at least 10x, more, more commonly 100x, its analog predecessor, right? Look at paper maps. Paper maps in its most robust year of sales did about $40 million of sales ever. What? Mm. How much economic activity do digital maps account for? The answer is hundreds of, uh, hundreds of billions of dollars every year in economic activity. Uber doesn't exist. Lyft doesn't exist. DoorDash doesn't, doesn't exist. Wow. UPS, Amazon logistics do not exist without digital maps. And, and not only does digital maps, does it just give you more functionality? It, it enables new types of commerce that didn't exist before. Now, when maps were only paper, it wasn't that humanity only had $40 million worth of need for navigation. What happened was better maps unlocked the true demand of navigation. So what is the true demand of economic exchange between people? We don't know because we've never had a worldwide digital currency before. So when people talk about a hundred trillion dollar Bitcoin market cap sounds absurd. You know what? That's not, we don't know. We have no way to quantify that because we've never seen a tool that allows economic activity to exist on this level. There's going to be new forms of economic activity that exist because of a digital currency that is truly native to the internet that's what makes me bullish if you want to talk about the buying power of bitcoin and not just the interpersonal connections which i think is equally bullish